what's up guys deal with Fino concept and today we are going to be looking at the brush tool the brush tool is quite similar to any other tool you see on um, Microsoft Paint or the other applications now what this does is um, with the brush tool selected the short key is B brush tool selected you could just paint over any portion of the image then you create whatever shape you want so I'll hold control and press Z to undo now when you right click on your mouse these are the few options you get uh, here you can resize the brush um, here you have some presets already installed they come with Photoshop so you could click you, you do, wouldn't have to worry but there are so many on the internet you can download and upload them here you could um, replace brushes you could load new brushes you could save them um, I did that by clicking this button right here so if I resize the brush to probably 103 pixel it becomes bigger and I can draw over my image let's undo edit undo so if I click and if I click on this part now we have a more solid brush if I this one is a soft brush but this deals with pressure sensitivity so this is uh, very good if you're using a tablet or a touchscreen laptop um, so notice that if the pressure is reduced it's going to change um, this is the solid part of the pressure sensitivity so basically that's it if I change it to uh, this kind of brush um, you notice that we have a preview here so if I click on it this is the image I'm making let me just undo uh, right click you select um, probably this kind of brush if I click this is what it does this is the image it gives me um, to increase the sizes a short key for increasing the sizes of the brush tool is the left and bracket key this can be found um, next to your enter key or just above your shift key depending on your type of keyboard so if I um, press the right bracket key you notice up here that my brushes keep increasing the options are up here too so um, let's take note right now it set as 167 pixel so if I press the right bracket key it keeps increasing if I press the left it will reduce I, I honestly don't know why I'm not getting the preview here usually you will see it so if I increase the brush size it increases if I reduce it it will reduce as well so basically that's it there are a lot of them this is for uh, I think this is for grass so if I change it to um, a green color looks more like I'm creating grasses but let me just undo that um, next off is the pencil tool pencil tool is basically the same thing too you just click and you drag and it will create a shape for you you can increase the size you could also change the presets so basically um, it's just like the brush tool just that the presets look slightly different as compared to the brush tool I recommend you highly, uh, highly recommend you use the brushes instead of the pencil too so the next video we're going to talk about the stamp tool no you know let me just measure it out now the stamp tool just like the patch tool where you replace certain parts of the face with um, a new part of the image you want so the stamp tool uh, what I want to do is if I let me undo this 
if I hold down the Alt key and click, it will select this part of the image. So you notice that that part is selected. Now, if I paint over this, it's going to replace it with that part. Now, let's hold down and click here too. Now, I can paint over this portion. You notice that there's another um, plus sign up there, which is taking care of wherever the image is going. So, if I bring it closer here, it's going to replace it with that part. So basically that's it for the term two. Um, let me just undo. Now the eraser tool, <laughs> the eraser tool is just as you guess it for cleaning a part of the shape that you do not want. So if I increase it to 100% because the background color is set to white anytime i clean white is going to show because that's the background color if i change it to green it's going to show as green but i'm actually cleaning those parts out to make them transparent um usually if it's just one layer it's going to be set as the background layer so if i double click on this lock button right here lock icon sorry um here you can change the name but i'm just going to leave it as layer zero so when I click on OK, it's now a layer. So now if I use my eraser tool, short key is E. If I use my eraser tool, then you can see that it becomes transparent because now it's just a layer and it's transparent. So let me undo this. Um, the background eraser tool, that one, if you have an image, it's just going to erase the background without it happening to affect so i'm using the right bracket to to increase the size this won't affect the actual image so if i clean over here that's going to take that portion out without erasing the actual image now you have to be very careful because it's not 100 percent accurate um the magic eraser tool i'm not entirely sure because i rarely use it so i wouldn't be talking about oh so that's what it does interesting so it seems it will highlight some portion just like the quick selection tool and take that part out so that's what the magic eraser does <laughs> i'm glad we both know now now for the paint bucket uh Okay, I'll talk about it in the next tutorial. So see you guys later.